Hi, this is Katya Gorbachev with the Vegan Power Lifter, and I'm gonna tell you what I eat today. What I eat in the day, today, all day. Morning is some Kite Hill yogurt with blueberries, and that is the remaining of the sesame seeds that I had, and we are going to dump all of these hemp hearts on them. Pretty much a scoop, I don't know how much that is. Quarter cup, maybe? I don't measure my food, so good luck trying to find the amounts and <laughs> approximate calories to this uh, eating scenario. There's a bunch of pineapple. Love pineapple. Pineapple's great. Pineapple's great on a cut. Pineapple's great. If you're bulking, pineapple's great. No matter what you do, pineapple's just great. Of course, I already bit a banana. Hello. So yeah, if you expect beautifully arranged blogger style plates, <laughs> go to some other channel. Coffee. Yes? Do you want to walk? Uh, do you want to walk? Mm. He pretends to be calm, but he really is as neurotic as I am. Hera, can you tell the audience you want to walk? Please? A. Speak. No. Nobody's gonna speak. Okay, well you get a bunch of cute doggies though. I boiled beets and I'm just going to... Don't, don't laugh. Hold it. I'm just going to have a beet <laughs> with tofu for lunch. Okay? And... Yes, you can laugh. Congratulations. If you haven't tried this tofu, you don't even know what you're talking about. This is five spice tofu. Do not be fooled by its light color. It is very um, smoky. It's not spicy, but it's smoky. So you can check the ingredients. It's basically soy sauce and uh, some flavor enhancements and some spices. So I'm not afraid of MSG. If you're afraid of MSG, boo! Don't eat it. I'm not. There's nothing wrong with MSG whatsoever. You can, you can Google it. If you think that there's something wrong with MSG or like GMO foods, again, it's probably not a video for you. Um, I also got whatever this is. It's some kind of chicken version of tofu from the same Chinese store, and it's super pointless to show every single thing that I got in the store here and there because I find that Asian stores have completely different assortment of foods in every city. So if you live in the US and you found this exact brand, let me know, write that in the comments. That would be swell because I, I know. Next time I go to that city, I can find my, my favorite five spice tofu. It's already cooked, you just take it out of the packet, and snack on it. It's wonderful. And you can carry it around in the backpack for about a day before it goes bad. So it's not like it goes bad as quickly as meat and cheese do. So here's here's for you meat eaters. Eat tofu. Tofu doesn't go as bad as quickly. So you can take it hiking. You can take it to many, many places. I'm also, this is Duke Reunion weekend. So I'm also going to probably bring that tofu with me. And snack on it as we walk through the gardens and do all kinds of things and have cocktails because I'm sure there will be alcohol and I need to bring food and I'm not gonna bring nuts I'm done bringing trail mix to snack on at social gatherings I need real food I need protein oh also ta-da my supplement drawer very well organized it's organized the way that you can just reach for whatever container and guess if you Pull the right one. So let's play a game. Am I gonna pull the right container out? Ta-da! Yes, I did. Cool. So don't be fooled by the by the name on the jar. This is not just our protein. So my boyfriend eats Sun Warrior. Uh, I also have Plant Fusion. We alternate them. And then this one is. It's not quite Zao. It's Zao and a bunch of things. So I think it's Zao uh, Plant Fusion Lean Green Protein. It is spirulina mixed in there already. There's greens from 
Fusion, there is Daily Greens from Plant Fusion. There's creatine, defatted nut, defatted peanut protein, and probably one, oh, mushrooms, reishi and lion mane's mushrooms. So all of that mixed in there, I will show you how green it looks when I drink it. Mixed in there because I don't want to open a million containers in the morning and take a tiny scoop out of each. <laughs> Just mix them all in one and that's, that's my shake. And I do not blend a friend of mine, uh, Crandall actually, with whom we recorded a live this week on what a vegan strongman eats. You should go watch it on my Instagram. It's stellar. He suggested putting beets and arugula <clears throat> into the shake. That's what he does at least. That's his super mega shake. But I'm not going to do that because I'm too lazy to pull out the blender, use a blender, and then clean the blender. So... The greens that I take are all dried if I take them with my protein and if it's a whole food, like, if it's a beet, I can just eat it like this. Num. Mmm, natural lipstick. Yeah, so, it's quite bizarre to most of my clients and viewers if, like, if I'm trying to eat a, a vegetable, I'm just gonna go and bite into, like, a pepper or a beet or a carrot. Like, I don't need a... I didn't need to cut it. Who has time for that? Right? So, if it's a whole food, I'll just eat it like that. And if it's a powder, I'll mix it in my protein and go about my day. So there's lunch for you. Since today is alumni reunion, I will off campus. Hey. Nice. So um, I'm collecting people's YouTube boxes. Okay. Because I wanted to them think, think about why they're having their YouTube boxes inside the dining hall instead of taking them to go. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, we should all bring Tupperware instead of having all this trash. Thank you for your activism. <laughs> That's lovely. She makes people feel bad before they even start eating. It's my kind of activism. Location. Canteen on main campus. Oh my god, I wish this was here when I was in college. So beautiful. And there was just a mud pit with construction, which used to work in construction. I can appreciate the work, but nobody likes us when it's happening. Why do people even like cornholes at all? Because we're in the South. Oh, I guess that's why. Because we're in the South. Okay. I'm not dressed for cornholes. Thank you. I'm dressed for taking pictures. And thank you. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. And uh, having a garden party. Oh no, cornhole. We can try cornhole. Fine. I'm a terrible shot. This feels very special. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a lot less exciting than I thought. Oh my god. Why? I don't know. I guess. I added that you have a blackboard and not a whiteboard. This is great. You're a math professor, right? I don't think I've seen the band processing through campus before, but here they are. The Duke Marching Band. That's important.
Come and bring it back, Kyle! <laughs> That's great. Our table blew, and my friends took my stuff and left. So now I gotta, I gotta find them. Stop! Stop, guys! I'm right here. Good evening. I guess my Duke alumni stuff is over, so I gotta cook some tofu. As you can hear, the air fryer is going. It's going nuts. We gotta lower the degrees. And now, I have this beautiful batch of extra firm tofu fermenting with soy sauce and garlic and ginger and probably a bunch of other things. Probably some mirin, which is rice, sweet rice vinegar. It's kind of like wine almost. Like, this is very alcoholic. You can get drunk off of this. Please don't get drunk off of this. It's a bad idea. But it's better than this. And it's better than this. Okay? So it gives more flavor to the tofu. It gives it more sweetness because my boyfriend likes our tofu very sweet. And if we didn't add mirin, we would have added like white vinegar and sugar. Which is kind of like same result but more boring. We both are power lifter and kettlebell athletes, so we're not like, oh my god, the lowest sugar, the least carbs, the best macros, like we like our calories, you know what I mean? So I marinated this as is, and now I'm going to try to stuff this baby into the air fryer and you get to watch how I potentially fail. Let's try this. difficult. So the key is you don't want to put too much into the air fryer because if you put too much it's not going to be crispy and I like it really crispy. So yeah. And you can also see like these pieces have been soaked really well. This one has not. So maybe I can add like one more piece in here and this will be it. And oh my god, close! They do not want to close. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna stuff it into the air fryer for eight to ten minutes. I'm not gonna monitor our time very closely, but I'm just gonna go hang out with my dogs outside and uh and then come flip that. So Yeah, I guess that's about eight minutes. After that, I'm gonna come and just shake the thing and flip the pieces that stuck, and that's gonna be dinner. This is the result. And no, it is not burned. It is a perfectly marinated piece of tofu. I don't know if my camera will ever focus on this piece of tofu, but it truly really is. It is garlic, ginger, soy sauce, sweet meat in vinegar and a little bit of sake let me know if you want the recipe for marinade but i am going to go eat this bowl of tofu and beets bye ready ready